everyone, I'm Lady Erin and welcome to this week's blog post. I was planning to do a couple of unboxing videos because I got some really cool new stuff, but they didn't turn out the way I wanted them to, so instead we're going to play a little game called What's in My Bag. And in order to play What's in My Bag, you need a bag. I got this bag the other day and it was actually one of the unboxings that I was going to show you, but it is a, what is it, a record? R5, I believe. And this thing is so cool compared to my last one because, as you can see, it's a backpack style. It's got padded straps, a rain cover that just unfolds. It's got a built-in rain cover. Straps for your tripod or any other carryables. Like, I have an umbrella that I use sometimes that I would strap in there. And it has so many pockets. But the main part looks like this. So you can just lay it down, open it up, and you've got everything you need right here. It carries a lot better than my old bag did because my old bag was just this over the shoulder clunky thing and it didn't really do very good. So this is going to be a lot better. And what goes in the bag is everything here. To start, here, I'm going to bring this down a little bit. To start we have my camera, which is a Nikon D90 and I've had this camera for quite a while. Um, I think my husband got it for me for Christmas in like 2010. I can't remember if it was the year before we got married or the year after, like somewhere in that area. But So I've had it for about eight years and it has been the best little camera. It's easy to use, it's easy to learn. I'm still learning things on it. I'm learning how to do, do some cool stuff on it. But it's just, I recommend it if anybody needs a good starting out camera. Oh, and attached to this camera is this little bag, which if you open it up, you get a wireless clicker. It's a wireless remote control, and it has been actually really, really nice. I've been using it to take some really crisp uh, photos, because if you remotely do the shutter like this, you don't press the button yourself, and that reduces a lot of the vibrations. So this has been pretty instrumental in getting those clear shots that everyone loves. So that goes right up top here where it's easily accessible. Sorry, I messed it up a little weird today. Okay, so it goes up top here where it's easily accessible. And with this camera comes two lenses. The first one is a, is a 18 to 55 lens. And it's what I use for the portraits and the wide angle and all of the you want to get close but you don't want to get too close kind of photos so that goes in there the next one is a 55 to 200 which is where this is the camera you want if you're going to stalk people like this will get you in super close and it's what i use for most of my nature shots because when you shoot birds you can't be too close to the birds because they will fly away from you so this lets you get in close without them ever even knowing and it comes with a cover so you just snap it on like that and voila, you got a sun cover. The sun cover only fits this lens, which is a little annoying because I'm going to have to go out and find a cover for the small lens, but for now it works. Next up is this. This is technically my husband's camera, but I keep it around with me that way we know where it is. But it's an Olympus Tough. And this camera is awesome. We took this with us to Hawaii and we're taking pictures underwater while we were going snorkeling. Like that's how tough this thing is. It can go underwater, it can go dirt, sand, snow, whatever you want. So if you need a good strong camera, you might look into this one. But I keep it with me just on the off chance I need a smaller point and shoot camera. Like maybe it's an event I can't get into with a big bag or something. So and there's an extra battery in there for it as well that stays in there. We've also got my SD card case which is Pelican brand and it's one of the coolest things I bought because it keeps all your SD cards together and before I had this they were all just thrown in a drawer I couldn't find them when I needed them I couldn't find the right ones when I needed them and since I've gotten this thing I've actually found two more SD cards that I didn't even know I had so this thing stays right up here its own little slot I've also got various chargers. We've got the, the charger for the main camera because you don't want to go anywhere without that. 
You never know when you're going to run out of battery. Well, I say as a photographer, you should always know if your camera is charged or if it has enough battery to the event. But in case it doesn't, you definitely want to get that charger with you. I also have a spare phone charger. Same reason, you never know when your phone's going to run out. And actually, that's not even the phone charger. I showed you the wrong one. This is the charger to the video camera that I'm using to record this video. And it actually stays in here as well because that's the coolest little video camera I've ever had. This is the extra phone charger because, you know, for the same reason, you never really know when you're going to need a charge. The charger to the iPad. Pretty self-explanatory. And we have one more lens here. Well, it's, it's more of a lens adapter, but this is a wide-angle lens adapter. And I haven't really gotten to play with it a whole lot because it says it's a macro. It's a macro lens angle converter. And it attaches to the smaller lens and will give it more of a wide angle slash fishbowl kind of feel. So I really need to get start playing with that a little more. That sits right, wait, where did it go? Right in here. And that is pretty much everything in the big pocket. Once you get that where you need it, you can close it up. If I can find the zipper. Zippers are my weakness. Uh, here we go. And it's a little, the bag's still a little stiff because obviously it's new and I haven't had a chance to really break it in. But it's got these straps here that keep it, keep the top part in place. That way if you need anything out, you can just unzip the top, grab it and go and this whole thing won't fall out. So the bigger pocket, or the, the second pocket, I guess we'll call it, has a few odds and ends here like the extra battery and the shoehorn. Um, it also holds my little level that fits on top of the camera and the shoehorn for the light. And it, it also holds this. And this is one of the coolest things that I've bought this year. It is an adapter that will let me put the SD card straight into the iPad. So if I'm out on a shoot with a client, I, after the shoot's done, I can take the photos, I can put them on the iPad, and I can have them choose which ones they want me to edit. Because there's only so many photos I can edit. Or if I'm by myself, I can put it in there and look at my photos in a bigger, more high def screen. And that'll let me know what photos I like and what I need to do again. So this, and this thing's actually discontinued because I have a Gen 2 iPad and all of the connections and all the cool accessories are discontinued. So I actually had to find it on eBay, which makes me a little skeptical because I don't really trust eBay. But it came through all right. It was only like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. And it came with an, another adapter, like it came with this one that does the SD card, and it came with one that will actually connect the camera cord to it. But the SD card is the one we're using the most, so it stays in there. I also have extra batteries for my wireless clicker, because when I first got it, it wouldn't work. And I tried, I thought the battery was dead. I legitimately thought they had sent it to me with a dead battery. Turns out I had the setting wrong on my camera, and that's totally on me. I was goofing it up. <laughs> this pocket right here is where the iPad goes and as like I said it's a Gen 2 it's well it's literally an iPad 2 but it's still high def enough that we can use it for what we want and it slips in there real nice and it's got a little extra padding because it's got this on the front of it it's a little extra pocket and it's got everything behind it so that slips right in there the tiny pocket up front for easy access is all my cleaning stuff I have this cleaning pin here and one side of it is a brush to get off the dirt and debris and whatnot. And the other side of it is this little microfiber pad thingy. And it it kind of works well, it kind of doesn't. I had an issue with the dirt actually collecting on the on the microfiber part. So it was more smearing than it was cleaning, but if you can keep it clean it works pretty well. But for backup, always have, you know, some cleaning cloths handy. And these are just your standard microfiber. I got them at the Dollar Tree. Eyeglass cloths, but they work well for cameras and other assorted. So that's pretty much the main thing. Um, these side pockets here, one of them's got my wallet in it, and the other one has got extra business cards. Because if you read my post on Facebook, you would know that you always, always need to carry business cards because that situation could have ended up a lot worse. And so that's what's in my bag. Um, all of, uh, a lot of the stuff I got from B&H Photo. 
which I absolutely love that website. So if you need any photography um, or computer or electronic or really any kind of electronics, uh, I, I check out their website because everything I've gotten from them has been affordable, has been really high quality, and has gotten to me pretty quickly. So I definitely recommend checking out B&H Photo for your electronic needs. <laughs> And no, this video isn't sponsored by them. I just really like their website and I would like to give shout out or shout out to do. But other than that, I think that's about it for this week. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. <laughs> Bye.